lovely day on the Isle of Sodor. The other railway was busy as usual with all their, their goods, shipments, and whatnot. It was a busy day. Everyone was working hard getting all the goods and supplies to places far away. Paxton, who broke down on the Isle of Sodor, was sent to the other railway to be mended. The steamworks was full, and the diesel works had to go under routine maintenance. He was, he was shunted aboard Edward's train. The spiteful brake man complimented Paxton for his company. Well, this is quite something. <laughs> uh, you're funny, Paxton, for breaking down. Oh, don't be silly. Now, let's go. I have to go meet Serena to take a special train with her. The last of the passengers boarded Edward's CCT vans. And Edward made his way to go and pull the train with Serena. An old brake fan named Brian was waiting outside the sheds. He was keen and eager. He was expected to go on a special train with Adam and Colin. Oh, this is going to be so much fun, he says. Then Willie arrives. Don't worry, I'll take you aboard the train. Hey, just Brian. <laughs> oh, I know that. Willie buffered up to Brian, and they made their way. The closest way, and their only way, was to get to the turntable. They roared into the turntable, busted away, and Brian was shunted onto Adam and Colin's train. Thank you, Willie. Willie said her goodbyes and made her away. Adam and Colin were glad to see their old friend again. It had been a few months since Brian was rediscovered at Kirk Ronan by Adam. <laughs> oh, oh my Brian, you are something. Quite something. Yes indeed, said Colin. So, this is Brian. <laughs> I've heard a tale of him. Bradford was eager to meet him. Hello there, Brian. I'm Bradford. Now, I am a very sensitive brake man. Now, don't mind me. I have a lot of things to deal with on those trucks. <laughs> I've heard tale of you too, Bradford. The guards blew their whistles in their respective trains, and Adam, Colin, and Samson made their way to the main one. Thomas and Percy, who was shunting in the mainland for most of the day, were resting the shed when Sir Totten had and the other railway manager showed up. Percy and Thomas, you've done very well helping shunt here in this part of the yard. One of the diesels who was meant to shunt here broke down this morning. He should be back tomorrow. Ah, yes. <laughs> He's a quite an interesting diesel, but not to worry about a thing. You've done very well for me, Thomas and Percy. I should say for us, <laughs> but anyways. You've done a very good job, you two. You should be very impressed. Thomas and Percy felt, e felt very pleased with themselves. They were looking forward to going home, but at the same time, they knew that um, other things were going on. Brian was an interesting break van, they thought. But they knew that Brian had more to his story than what we knew. But what Thomas and Percy didn't know is that someone overheard the conversation from the sightings. But that, of course, is a story for another day.